Hi, hi. Today I want to talk about the Pandora Papers, which um, were released. I mean, I think they're going to be released in batches, to be honest. But uh, they are starting to being. Re they have started to being released yesterday by the CILG, which I understand is the Confederation, uh, International Confederation of Journalists, or something like that. And they are based in Washington, and they coordinated with, uh, I believe, 300 press correspondents and journalists around the world, um, usually uh, collaborating with the biggest newspapers, most serious newspapers in, um, in each uh, jurisdiction. So, for example, they selected the, uh, the Guardian and the BBC alternative in the UK. They selected Le Monde and Radio France in France um, and the Washington Post and another one uh, in, the, in the US. So they, um, they you know, really did some thorough research about this um, 14, 1, 4, 000 plus, 14,000 plus documents which have been released about tax evasion, uh, in, uh, which is done by wealthy individuals um, around uh, the world in tax havens, such as the BVI, the Bahamas, um, and uh, the Seychelles, and also the US, some, uh, some states in the US, such as the Dakota, I think, um, also the um, South Dakota state, uh, Nevada, Texas, Alaska, which are also becoming, uh, which have also become some tax havens. Um, while the U.S. is having is having a very you know stern approach to tax evasion, some of their own uh, states are actually tax havens, which is quite ridiculous. Um, so, what have we learned from these Pandora papers so far? Well, and as I said, they, uh, uh, in the next few days, the more information is going to be released. Um, well, we've just learned what we knew all over, which is that we live in a very, very extremely corrupted world. And um, at least seven to ten um, presidents and um, and rulers in uh, in country rulers uh, have uh, uh, some uh, some uh, uh, basically tax uh, evasion strategies in place in these tax havens, and uh, they have uh, lodged a lot of their funds, which probably um, have been acquired in a in a way which is uh, deemed to be money laundering. Um, and so they have lodged all these funds, siphoned all these funds to um, special purpose companies, special purpose vehicles in those tax havens. And through these tax havens, they actually buy assets, in particular real estate assets, in posh locations such as Malibu, you know, uh, Florida, London, Paris, the south of France, the French Riviera where I am at the moment, etc, etc. So nothing is new and it's all these plutocrats, you know. So who are we looking at here? We're looking at the King of Jordan. We're looking at the, um, uh, the Czech, the Czech uh, president and the elections in the uh, Czech Republic are coming up next week. And the guy's like, yeah, let's, let's fight against corruption. And then you find out that he's got some, he's got some, uh, some tax, uh, some tax evasion uh, companies in uh, in all these tax havens. I mean, this is ridiculous. How's that possible? In the next communist country, and this guy is so full of cash that he actually has to evade some, you know, his, uh, several millions of uh, of, of euros to, to to tax havens. How's that possible? Of course, Putin and uh, and his uh, and his cronies have um, also uh, been, uh, you know. Uh, pointed at uh, through these uh, Pandora papers, and a lot of uh, dictators in um, in um, um, in the Middle East and um, and Africa as well, who, who of, uh, as we all knew, um, have stashed a lot of money in all these tax havens. And I've, as I said, you know, for such a long time, and I'm repeating myself again. There were a few women, yes, yes, there are a few women. Usually, they are basically either the wives of the cousins of the. Of, of the king, you know, for example, there is the, the cousin of uh, the, the king of Morocco, which is one of the of the um, individuals who's been pointed at in these uh, Pandora papers. But I think it is time now to actually, you know, give a chance to 
some probe, competent and appropriate women to rule countries in Europe, in the Middle East, in Africa. It is time, in the US, of course, as well. It is high time. I'm not saying any women, certainly not. For example, in France, we definitely not want the uh, Le Pen woman from the National Front, etc. And, um, and I, I, I'm not quite sure as well about uh, Anne Hidalgo because the, 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 the current mayor of France. But so, so we, we need to give s- s- some, you know, efficient probe, no nonsense women a chance to become rulers in countries. If this is enough or of all these plutocrats, men in their 50s and their 60s and then 70s who usually had one mandate, three mandates, four mandates, basically they just, you know, they're just uh, tyrants, they're just autocrats. And they keep on, you know, sucking the, uh, the tits of their of of countries and, uh, and then funneling the funds out to all these tax havens, you know, for, for the uh, 10, 30, 10, 20, 30 generations of their heirs. Why is that acceptable in this day and age? It isn't. So we need to change. We need to change our strategy here. And I think it is going to come from women, women rulers. I'm not talking about myself, you know, but I think I think now the moment has come to actually, you know, bank on female values um, where it's not all about yourself. You know, it's not all about yourself and 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 about, Okay, I'm going to become a powerful figure in this uh, in this country so hence i'm going to get some back ends and uh, and uh, back under the table payments for from any any uh construction company and uh, entrepreneur in the country because they have to pay me if they want to get the uh, the bid you know if they want to win the bid for this and that project you know this is this this sort of chronism and plutocratic and autocratic approach has been going on forever because we are ruled by men and men think with their dicks most of the time. They don't think with this, they, 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 uh, they, uh, they um, brain and their heart. They think with, you know, their penises. I'm sorry, but it has to be said. You know, when you are a very basic man, it's the first thing you think about. And this is unacceptable in this day and age. It's not all about these kind of guys and, all, and their dicks. It is about, you know, how are we going to make sure that everyone on this uh, on this planet Earth is getting his or her fair share of happiness by being able to eat, by being able to wash himself or herself every day, by being able to have shelter, by being able to educate himself or herself. You know, just um, not all the power and wealth in the hands of just the very few, but um, redistributing this power and this wealth in a way that we all are able to. Um, basically meet our basic and um, even more evolved needs on the pyramid of, I think it's called uh, Sokolov or Pavlov, or, no, not Pavlov, but uh, it's like a Russian guy and it's, it's set up this pyramid of needs. And the, the first needs are food, um, water, shelter, sex. Second needs are, you know, educating yourself, using your brain. Third need are, you know, developing your potential, um, having a career, etc., etc., and you so of course the the pyramid becomes um, thinner and thinner at the top. And um, my point is that we need uh, today. We could do it. We have, as we can see, way enough, you know, wealth um, in this um, humanity to actually make sure that all people have the ability to actually fulfill their basic needs at the very very least the basic needs the problem is that most of this wealth and when i say most i really do mean most because these pandora papers have actually revealed that the wealth that is being channeled out to this tax haven is looking at trillions trillions of dollars and euros and um and rubles and whatever you know it's trillions of dollars um, on in the name of a few uh, of a few plutocrats and billionaires and millionaires um, in the world, and um, and this wealth needs to be redistributed in a way which is which is fair and allows everyone to actually fulfill his or her at the very least basic needs, and um, and then hopefully you know intermediate needs such as developing the uh, 
you know, the, 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 your, your, your career path and the reason why you're here on earth and accomplishing your life mission, etc. And, and, uh, and therefore, this whole fucking system, excuse my French, is rigged. It needs to go away. And when I hear, you know, the CILG and all these journalists saying, hey, hang on, we're just letting you know this information. But by the way, tax, ta- you know, uh, putting some money in companies, in offshore companies, in tax havens is actually uh, legal. I disagree. It isn't. It isn't legal. What do you think that the, the, tax, uh, the, the tax authorities are going to do when all the information is released about these billionaires and millionaires and, uh, and uh, governments in, uh, in, in each country? Well, they're going to tax the sh- shit out of them. They're going to actually put them under tax investigations, tax audits, and um, make them pay. I mean, hopefully, you know, then you, you don't really know what's going to happen in uh, non-democratic countries, such as like in Africa, or the Middle East, etc. I, I doubt that the King of Jordan is going to have its, uh, its um, Jordan IRS on, the, you know, on, his, uh, on his back. But that should be the, the, the actual course, you know. The, the course is that, um, is that actually... <laughs> It is tax evasion, and the tax authorities are definitely going to uh, to uh, get, try to get their money back from uh, French citizens and UK citizens, because apparently the Blairs as well have been uh, have been targeted, the Cherry and uh, and um, Tony Blair. So that's interesting as well. Nothing stops her, stops her that uh, Cherry Blair. She could have said no to uh, this uh, al Sayanaya family or whatever they called when they said, yeah, well, we're going to sell, send you the, uh, we're going to sell you the, uh, the real estate in Marylebone in London, but only through a company. She could have said, no, no, I don't want, I don't want to touch, touch this with a barging pole. So what did she do? Well, she said, yeah, of course, yeah, no problem. I'm sorry, there's a problem of ethics here, especially when you're a barrister. Um, so anyway, uh, it's interesting news. We're going to learn more in the near future because um, the CILG is going to uh, release the news every day, I think, uh, for the next few days. So I'm pretty much stuck on Twitter and, uh, and um, Google at the moment, listening to what's going on. But, you know, it's about time. It's about time we make these discoveries and these things, you know, we've known forever. And, and we have all these warnings and, you know, because before the Pandora Papers, there were the Panama Papers and in 2017, there were some other papers. What did we do about this? What happened? How come it didn't change the system? You know, this is concerning. I am concerned. It is not changing because there is no change of the, um, the way the system is structured. And the only way it's going to change is if we let women who are, again, who need to be uh, selected women among, you know, like we need some Angela Merkel, Merkel women for every country in the world, really. A woman, that kind of woman. Um, and when you have that kind of woman ruling m- most countries, this sort of shit is not going to uh, happen again. That's going to be over. It is going to be over. Because it's, it is unacceptable. And the... Uh, sanctions against these kind of individuals who have no ethics whatsoever. They have no remorse. They don't even, f- you know, they don't, they don't care. They don't care that it's actually disgusting what they do. These people are the most pungent and disgusting individ- individuals you can see in the world. All these, all these you know, cronies, all these, uh, all these plutocrats, they are the most disgusting with the lowest vibration. Do you think that it ever crosses their mind that what they're doing is disgusting? They don't give a fiddle fuck. These people you cannot change. Either you kill them and you get rid of them. When I say you kill them, this is a a figure of speech. When I say this is you you get rid of them. You get rid of them. You put them out of the system, but they're never going to change. So the only way to change the system is to put some players who actually have ethics. Um, A lot of, uh, you know, rigor and uh, ability to work hard and um, who have a moral compass. We have too many countries and, um, and rulers who have no moral compass and they lie. They like that, like, you know, like, like, like they, they, they breath. Disgusting, disgusting thing. Anyway, it's great that it's coming out. It was about time. But really now what I want is for the mass, for the people, to understand that actually the power is with them and that they have to make the right choices for their own countries because they are responsible for who they put in power, right? When Trump was elected, I felt sorry for the Americans at the end of the day. Hey, you voted with this twat. Live with it. We live with the consequences. You made your, your bed live in it. So the power is with the people, but they have to become accountable. Okay? 
they have to stop saying, well, I've elected this guy, well, actually this guy made a push and made a, uh, you know, a push, a push and now he's in power. So uh, no, in any case, I can't do anything and I can't think about myself. This is over, okay? We are uh, thinking individuals, adults, most of us, um, and we have a brain. We need to use it. We need to use our own um, moral compass. And we are responsible to, for who we put in power. And if at the moment there is a fucking crook in, the, in power in your, in your country, in your state, well, maybe it is time that the mass, the people, do something about it. How do you want a handful, a fistful of cans to actually stop a whole, a whole people of uh, m millions, uh, if not uh, sometimes billions of people? It's impossible. The power is with the people. It's just a matter of organizing and having a common vision. So work on that, get your common vision organized and um, change the system. Because otherwise, otherwise we're not going to the right direction and we do need to, to go in the right direction to uh, get Earth to evolve um, in, for, for the long term in, the, in, in, in a way which is constructive and, uh, and useful for this generation and the next. Bye for now.